apprenticeship program at A House is um, basically, you know, we are doing the tool and die uh, business. Uh, we take young people who have strong mechanical aptitude, strong math skills, uh, where maybe a four-year college isn't really for them. Uh, gives them opportunity to come into a field, learn a trade, um, possibly uh, move into other other positions in the company. Uh, you start out as an apprentice, become a toolmaker, a machinist, uh, possibly get into design, management, uh, a lot of other opportunities inside the company for uh, apprentices. Back in the early 80s is when they first started uh, hiring apprentices. Uh, generally they take uh, uh, people right out of high school, um, turn them into apprentices for four or five years and then they would eventually get their uh, journeyman's card, a certificate, um, making them a journeyman in, in the business and then they would become a full-time uh, tool maker, CNC machinist or whatever position they would take over at that time. Most of our apprentices come from an ag background. They're farm boys. So they have number one, very good work ethics and they're gearheads. They know how to work with their hands and put things together and tear it apart. And I think that is, is why this program has been very, very successful. In fact, some of their key individuals, our engineering manager, our manager of manufacturing, are all products of our own apprentice system. Generally, uh, apprentices start out at A-House uh, on, the, on the floor, being either a toolmaker apprentice or a CNC machinist. And then upon completion of the program, they would become a full-time toolmaker or CNC machinist. Our engineering manager, our manufacturing manager, and several of our good engineers are products of that apprentice program. So it's self-fulfilling, if you will. When I was in high school, I was in a machine tool program uh, at a, a local vocational school. Um, I decided at that time I would like to choose this uh, career as a career. Um, so I started at A House as an apprentice. Uh, didn't really realize that I would have opportunities that I've had to become a design engineer or get into management or other things. Um, but I was able to work my way up through the company, uh, learning different skill sets and also getting some free education and um, was able to climb the ladder. The apprenticeship um, has brought great benefits to the company. Uh, I think we have around 70 employees right now and nearly half of the employees went through the apprenticeship. Uh, so b being an apprentice uh, gives you a broad range of starting kind of from the ground up and you're able to take those qualities and put them into different facets of the business. There is a, a national apprentices contest yearly and uh, if there, it's regional. If you win the region and there are I don't know how many regions in the United States and then they go on to the national level. And we have had, I believe, two apprentices that have won the national apprentices contest. So uh, that's a pretty good achievement for a small town in the Midwest. Well, it's very interesting when we mention that we have our own in-house apprenticeship. I have had many of the customers ask, well, how do I start one of those? We don't have an apprentice program. And believe it or not, we have three or four customers that have started apprentice programs and we furnish them information from how we do it and how we set it up and uh, they have some nice successful programs going on now.